Hi everybody and welcome to the Center Point Energy Eco Station. I am Jason, the environmental educator here at the Children's Museum Houston, and today I'm going to introduce you to some of our animals inside the research pavilion. Hey everybody, welcome to the Center Point Energy Research Pavilion here at the Eco Station at Children's Museum Houston. Once again, I am Jason, and today we're going to introduce you to our millipedes. There are three millipedes inside right here. You don't always see our millipedes. We only bring them out when our geek staff is out. And we have a couple geeks, myself, I'm a geek, when we have Lynn and we have Devin. So when Lynn and Devin are here, the millipedes will come out and you can see them and you can even hold them. They're really gentle, docile creatures. They like where they live. This wood chip with this branch is perfect for them. If you notice some of the wood chips are breaking down, that's the stuff they like to eat. Now, the most fascinating thing for most people is they're called millipedes, which is Latin for 1,000 foot creature. But I gotta tell you something right now. They don't have a thousand feet. So here's one of my little millipede friends. I'm gonna put them in my hand. Now, every segment, you see these little segments? Every segment except for the first segment and the last segment can have up to two pairs of legs. They are diploids. That means two pairs of legs per segment. Sometimes they only have one pair. Uh, the first segment and the last segment typically don't have any pairs, but they don't usually have that many segments to have 1,000 legs. The biggest one they found not too long ago had 750 legs. There is a claim now that there might be one that had 1,200 legs, but I've only seen that written one place, so I'm not sure if that's quite true yet. Now you can see how friendly this one is. It's just kind of crawling around on me. And you could, oh, he's okay. You can see he's just kind of crawling around on me. And all those little legs are moving in unison to get it to move around, okay? Now, a lot of people think this is an insect. That is not an insect. Insects and this guy are both arthropods, but this guy's more related to say like a lobster or a crab. The reason why it's not an insect is insects only have six legs. And this guy right here may have 300 or so legs, okay? I haven't, I haven't actually sat there and count, counted them all, but most of them have that many legs. Now, they have some similarities to an insect. They have antenna and whatnot, but also sometimes people think they look like worms, but they are not worms either, okay? They are arthropods with many, many segments, and they are diploids. And they are very, very gentle and friendly, but they also do need to protect themselves. Why? Because things want to eat them. The way they protect themselves is they have this hard exoskeleton, this hard outer shell, and then they can curl themselves up into a nice, tight little ball that protects all their legs, and it makes them seem less desirable to eat. Also, if they're really, really stressed out, they can release this chemical, this stinky fluid that will cause a predator to sort of run away. Now, they are really good at right in here. They are very, very gentle. They are very, very docile, very happy. And they live a fairly long amount of time. So we're gonna have these millipedes for a long, long time. Now, we don't really have names for them or anything like that. And you might notice there's lacking a water dish, but you might notice the condensation right here. We spritz them every day, and that gives them the water that they need. So they're gonna be fine with that right there. So I don't know how long they're gonna live in captivity exactly. I've heard that it can live eight to 10 years in captivity. Some type will say three to four years, but we'll see. We got them this year in 2022, and maybe in 20. 30, we'll still have them and they'll be still amazing people and whatnot. Now, if you do come to our research pavilion and the millipedes aren't out, it may be because there's not a geek here, but if there is a geek here and they're not out, just go ahead and ask. They'll pull them out. They'll let you hold them. Everything will be great. They might, you know, put some stinky fluid on you, but it doesn't hurt you. Just go wash your hand. Okay, everybody. Well, I'm glad you got to meet our millipedes. Hope to see you in here soon. Bye.